Good evening, everybody. This is a live update as Hurricane Delta now is rapidly intensifying here in the Western Caribbean. Perfect environment for rapid intensification. In fact, many parallels are being made to Hurricane Wilma, which in, uh, intensified all the way down to the upper nine, upper 800s in terms of pressure. The, bo the uh, bottom dr dropped out of that hurricane. Two nautical mile wide eye. So basically that's a wedge all the way down to the very warm ocean surface. Uh, pure transport of heat from the ocean, latent heat release, uh, runaway latent heat release as well. This has a similar well-defined core. It looks like it's well on its way to rapid intensification. Now forecast to be a major hurricane very close to Cancun tomorrow night. And um, I'm trying to decide right now, do I go to the northern Yucatan, head down to Cancun, try to go to the northern tip? It's very easy, easy that... I could get burnt doing that and the hurricane moves just offshore which would be great for the northern Yucatan but then I might be trapped uh, down there having to quarantine for two weeks and then we'll miss the landfall there in southern Louisiana. Looks like this hurricane is going to weaken just a little bit on approach to the north central Gulf Coast but still is going to be a very dangerous hurricane likely a category two maybe stronger than that. There is a, a narrow ribbon of cooler water temperatures just up on the shelf of the northern Gulf of Mexico. That could uh, help to temper some of that strengthening. So it could be a weakening storm on approach to the north central Gulf Coast, but still very dangerous, likely life-threatening storm surge. Winds well over 100 miles an hour. And it looks like it's heading for southeastern Louisiana, maybe southwest Louisiana, which would be an incredibly scary situation, an area that was already hit so hard by Hurricane Laura, could be hit again by uh, Hurricane Delta. And uh, this is definitely rapidly intensifying, as you can see, forecast to be a major hurricane by tomorrow night, midnight. Max sustained winds over 120 miles an hour, maybe stronger than that on approach to the northern Yucatan. So the question right now is, uh, do I try to head up to Louisiana I could have a storm surge sensor ready to go. Uh, everything would be ready to, uh, to go in terms of that uh, live streaming science, measuring the height of the storm surge coming in. Or do I try to head down to the northern Yucatan, if I even can right now? Um, so I'm going to make that uh, decision here very soon. Let me show you the official track now, the updated track of Hurricane Delta. Stand by here. There you can see that r rapidly exploding convective burst. Even the hint of an eye there in the middle. I've read there could be an 18 nautical mile wide eye there. It's probably going to develop a pinhole eye. Rapid intensification happening. There it is. Here's the uh, official forecast track to the National Hurricane Center, the updated one. Showing hurricane warnings as well for the northeastern tip of the Yucatan. And that includes Cancun, Cozumel, Playa del Carmen, those areas. So here is that official track. And you can see the M there shows major hurricane status and approach to uh, the tip of the Yucatan. And you may remember the briefing earlier this morning, and we were wondering if that high off to the north, the Bermuda High, that's been expanding from east to west in the wake of that system that ejected off the mid-Atlantic, if that was going to be so strong that it might bend a further west track. And also with the Fujiwara interaction with Gamma, just off the coast of the northwestern Yucatan, bending that track just a little bit more to the west. So now it's even coming very close to the tip of the Yucatan. But as you can see, if I were to uh, head to the tip of the Yucatan and this track shifts ever, ever so, so slightly to the right, then it would be very difficult to get back into position into southern Louisiana by Friday. You can also see those hurricane warnings in western Cuba. And it has max sustained winds right now, 75 miles an hour at least. Uh, definitely has been a, possibly been a hurricane for some time already. Definitely... Uh, Pulling up the radar once again here. Satellite imagery. 
Excuse me. That's the official track, and you can see it's going to arrive right now in southern Louisiana, maybe Friday night, as uh, likely it's still a Category 2, very dangerous storm. And it looks like it's going to arrive in the tip of the Yucatan, including very close to Cancun, Tuesday night around midnight. And right now it looks like a Category 3 storm, but some of the models are showing an even stronger one than that. And based on these latest satellite trends, definitely does not surprise me. Uh, that uh, inner core is absolutely exploding right now. Look at the gravity waves going out from those convective bursts. Uh, the edge of the convection there as well, behaving like a gravity wave. That's what we're trying to measure with the subsonic sensor. So we're trying to decide, do we deploy the surge, storm surge sensor in Louisiana, or do we head down to the tip of the Yucatan and try to get a, a, a data point down there, right in the middle of the uh, rainforest in the north central Yucatan. So that's what we're trying to decide. But this uh, definitely is a rapidly intensifying tropical cyclone here. Likely by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to see a pinhole eye. It's a very textbook pinhole eye, likely with this storm as well. Let me see if I can pull up the latest Zero Z models. We'll go to the incredible Tropical Tidbits website here from Levi Cohen. Everybody's so appreciative of his website for visualizing this model data. And it sure looks like a western, a southern trend is evident in the models. Look at that. Uh, right in the middle of the night, tomorrow night, taking it right over the tip of the Yucatan there. That's a rapidly intensifying major hurricane. So it looks like my decision is definitely made. I'm going to let you know what that is probably tomorrow morning. But a pretty dangerous situation also for the north central Gulf Coast region. Definitely going to keep a very close eye on this hurricane. I'm going to try to get a uh, double landfall as well. Uh, but the, it seems like the consensus is amongst the hurricane models. The GFS is picked up on this initially. It is a westward uh, shift with a stronger anti-cyclone just off to the north of uh, Hurricane Delta that's going to intensify rapidly overnight tonight. A couple of members even taking it over Cozumel, Playa del Carmen there, and then turning off to the north, 72 hours. But where is that northward turn going to happen? That's kind of the big question. So could this be a southwestern Louisiana play, even in upper Texas? Could it be as far east as the uh, Florida Panhandle? All of those areas could be, need to keep a very close eye on Hurricane Delta. That's going to be a major hurricane when it's making this northward turn, accelerating as well. There's an upper trough that's going to be coming across the southern plains that this storm is turning off to the north well in advance of. And so New Orleans right now is right very close to the forecast track. That would be Friday night. It's going to be a dangerous night there across southeastern Louisiana. Very storm surge prone areas too of coastal Mississippi, southeastern Louisiana, coastal Alabama. So a very dangerous storm rapidly intensifying from a meteorological standpoint. It's going to be incredible to watch this play out. But uh, you also realize the dark side of these storms is so substantial. The damage and it's heading for areas that have already experienced tropical cyclones this year. Maybe even impacting similar areas that were hit by Hurricane Laura so hard. So you're definitely concerned, especially when you see this rapid intensification happen. Just a runaway heat engine, positive feedbacks at play here latent heat release, major convection, surface pressure falls, more convergence of the low levels, a stronger updraft, and uh, just feeds off of each other, resulting in a rapidly intensifying hurricane. That uh, looks like an, an eye is definitely starting to pop out there in satellite imagery. So this is a live update here. Just really uh, talking about how dangerous this hurricane is going to be. 
especially for the tip of the Yucatan and then for the north central Gulf Coast. And look at that thing rapidly intensify. It did have some dry air that was trying to wrap in at the mid levels earlier. Those are gone. Now it's just pure convective explosion right here happening with Hurricane Delta. This is the Radar Omega app. Pressure down to 980 millibars. Forecast uh, by tomorrow uh, to be a Cat 2 storm. That's probably even a bit conservative. I could easily see this being a Category 3 type hurricane on approach to the north, set, north uh, tip of the Yucatan. So I've got some big time decisions to make. And uh, these models are definitely hinting at maybe a run to the Yucatan is needed. I'm not even sure if that's possible, but we're definitely going to see. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, live storm chasing is made possible by the Facebook supporter community. Thank you, everybody. We're going to try to go live during this intercept down in the Yucatan or if it's in the north central Gulf, Gulf Coast region. But everybody, take this storm incredibly seriously. Incredible. I mean, it... Yeah, the environment is very weakly sheared. Just a perfect environment for rapid intensification into a major hurricane and a life-threatening storm surge. Wind is going to be expected with this. And even though there is some cooler water temperatures up in the north central Gulf of Mexico, this storm is going to be accelerating. So the residence time over those cooler temperatures is definitely decreased. And so this is going to be a formidable hurricane coming in to so southern Louisiana maybe further east of there too, anywhere from basically the upper Texas coast through the Florida Panhandle needs to keep a close eye on this. And uh, stay tuned, everybody. I'll keep you guys updated on what our intercept plan is. And we're going to be watching rapid intensification unfold right before our eyes.